guys, what's up? It's Jessica here and I have a cooking video ready for you guys. So I made a dish, it's called Tan Pequeña Chicken. And I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of backstory about this dish and, and what's going on and why I made it. But I'm gonna leave also the recipe down below. This is actually something that I just came up with. Um, my boyfriend and I, we used to go to a restaurant here locally called Big Al's. And it was one of those mom and pop restaurants. It was so delicious. Everything we ever got there was really good. Um, we used to go on Sundays when we would go out riding. We'd stop by there and get the red beers or the clamatos or micheladas, whatever you guys know them as. We would get the red beers. Um, we would get a pound of peel and eat shrimp and a dozen oysters. And we would sit there and munch out. It was so awesome when you're out riding and you're kind of hungover from the night before. Uh, really great place they always had really cool bands um, but I think the owner I think he got sick or uh, he passed away and the, his children were the ones that were running the restaurant they ended up closing it and we were very sad when we saw that they were no longer in business um, and ever since then Eric has always been going to get chicken tan pequeña from that restaurant and since it no longer exists whenever he goes to another restaurant and he sees it on the menu you can order either steak tan pequeña or chicken tan pequeña and he always orders it and it's never the same it's always a disappointment it's never the exact same thing so we were talking about it over the weekend and he wanted me to try to recreate it um, and he gave me ideas as far as what he thinks it had in it and how it kind of looked and so I went ahead and did my own version of chicken tan pequeña for you guys. Um, it's really good for one of those, you know, low carb uh, dishes um, because it's chicken. And so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the recipe. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. If there's anything you guys want to see in particular, please make sure to leave me down below the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys. Here's okay, so recipe. here are the ingredients of what I'm going to use to make this tan pequeña chicken. We are going to need two chicken breasts, which I'm going to butterfly. We're going to need some Velveeta, some onion, some Anaheim chili peppers, which I'm going to roast, some tomatoes. I just have four Roma tomatoes, a little bit of garlic, and we're going to use some milk. And then, of course, your seasoning, um, salt, pepper, or the chicken bouillon as you need or as you want. So I'm gonna start off by roasting the peppers, which you guys have seen before in my last video, but basically I'm just gonna put them on the stove until they get nice and black and then put them into a bag so that they can sweat a little bit and then uh, we'll peel them and I'll show you what I'm All gonna right, do next. So here I have the peppers already roasting and they're just roasting right on my stove on the open flame. You're gonna hear them popping and you'll see that they'll start turning brown or get black spots as they do, just start flipping them around and I'll show you what they're supposed to look so like. The once onion done. and the tomato, you wanna go ahead and cut into little strips like these. Um, not too thin, not too thick. I mean, really it depends on your personal pre preference. These I just did into little like half moon shapes. So you're gonna slice everything up and then when the chiles are done, you're actually gonna slice, slice those up as well. Um, so and I'll once show you the when chilies start getting nice and black, you're going to go ahead and put them inside a plastic bag so that they can sweat a little bit. That way it's easier for you to peel off so the skin. So while the chiles are getting nice and sweaty in their bag so that you can peel them, meanwhile what you want to do is you want to butterfly the chicken. Just butterfly it like this right in half. And then you're going to salt and pepper it and you're going to make it on a grill pan or a saute pan, you're just going to go ahead and cook it through. Just real simple. I'll all show right, you guys So the chilies, you want to go ahead and clean them. Take all of the skin off. Take the little bottom piece off. And you want to open them up and take out all the veins. Take out all the seeds. And you're going to cut them into strips. But if you notice, I'm leaving them pretty, pretty thick strips. Like, you don't want them too thin. You want to be able to still kind of kind of taste them and everything. So do that to all so of your chilies. your chicken, you're just going to saute on a pan with a little bit of oil and you're gonna cook it completely on both sides. Just be careful not to burn it because it's butterflied, it's thinner, so it's gonna cook a lot faster. And if you overdo it, then your chicken's gonna be dry. I sometimes do that because I'm afraid, you know, that I'm not gonna have it cooked all the way through. Just cut a little piece of it open so you can see it's not pink inside anymore. As soon as it's no longer pink, then you're gonna go ahead and take it out and put it on the plate on the side and just keep it uh, warm 
um, with a little bit of So oil. in the same pan that I just took the chicken out of, I'm going to use the same pan for the sauce that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to put a little bit of oil onto the pan. It's got a little bit left from the chicken, but this is a pretty big pan, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit more oil on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and slide in all of the veggies. So all the onion, kind of tear it apart, the tomato and the chilies. And then just kind of mix it all together. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand. So just kind of mix it all together. And you're going to leave it there to saute and get nice and squishy and cooked through. You're going to see that it smells like really good. And just kind of give it some time to cook all the way through. At this point, you can also go ahead and add a little bit of your minced garlic. Uh, that way it kind of cooks in there with all of the other veggies as well. Alright, so once you see that it starts kind of cooking down and it's starting to look a little bit brown, your tomatoes starting to wilt a little bit, your onions starting to get a little bit softer, I did go ahead and put some just regular salt into it to season it up. And I'm going to add a cup of water. And I want it to kind of boil. So what you want to do is once you add the cup of water, go ahead and cover it with foil. Or if you have a lid or a top that will fit here, go ahead and cover it up. And let it boil down so it starts to get a little bit more soft. You don't want it really, really mushy. You just want it to have kind of a little bit of a bite still, but not like a bite of raw onion or anything like that. So just let it boil for a few minutes. So once it's bubbling up, it's starting to boil, it's getting all nice and good. And you see that it's soft you no longer have those big crunchy pieces you're going to start adding your Velveeta cheese and just crumble it up or put it into chunks um, mine was frozen so it looks a little bit more crumbly but it's just a, I'm using half of a block of just regular Velveeta you're going to go ahead and add it in there so I just went ahead and added a little bit of milk this is a quarter of a cup of milk um, really the milk is going to depend on how watery or liquidy you want your dish to be. So just add it little by little. I, I recommend like a quarter of a cup at a time and then go ahead and start stirring it. Let the cheese melt down. And then as you see it, you can go ahead and add more milk if you want it a little bit more watery. So once everything is melted down, you know, just look at it. It's supposed to be kind of like this very watery. Um, of course you want to make it to the consistency that you'd like. Go ahead and taste it at this point. See if it needs more salt. Remember that cheese is quite salty, so you don't want to add too much salt at the beginning, but this is a perfect point. Uh, mine does need some salt and just a little bit more flavor. So what I'm going to go ahead and add is a little bit of the chicken bouillon flavor. Um, just you go ahead and sprinkle it in, taste it as you go, see how you like it. This is just going to give it a little bit more of a depth of flavor um, as opposed to just salt and then just go ahead and mix it in and keep tasting it as you go. Alright so it's pretty much done now I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself the piece of chicken uh, normally I would serve this with maybe some rice and some beans as a side but basically what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just smother your chicken in this really good chili sauce and then that's it. This is your final product. Hopefully you guys all enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you try it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you can see the rest of my videos. Bye.